Hi folks, welcome to another stall13.com video. I'll give you three guesses what we're talking about. That's right, we're talking about fly masks. Why would you have a fly mask on a horse? Well, hence the word fly mask. There's other reasons. Maybe you have a horse with allergies, maybe you have a horse that is prone to eye injuries, so that you would want to have something to discourage this horse from hurting its eyes. Now, the way you make sure that they wear this is you want to make sure that there's no real creases in it, that you can actually slide your hand up in here so that it doesn't cause any abrasions on the horse's muzzle, and you want to make sure that you have it pushed out. You want to make sure that the ears have plenty of room. You may even want to do something with the horse's um, forelock to make sure that it's comfortable. Also, you want to make sure that if in an emergency the horse gets caught, that it will slide off. Now obviously for the purpose of this video we had this connected around a halter but you want to make sure that this is going to come out. If something's going to break let it be your tack not the horse. Now when you want to put a fly mask on some horses are going to rear up, some horses are going to back up. They are literally going to freak out. So when you put a fly mask on you want to present it to the horse let him see it you want to open it up and you want to start up high. A lot of people try to put it on like a halter, it's just the opposite. You want to start this way and come down. You want to hook the ears first. Then you bring your fly mask down. Once you have it down, then that's when you seal up your Velcro. They all have a Velcro strap. Also, there are different types of fly mask. Notice this one is all nylon. Whereas this other fly mask right here, actually where the ears go, we have fabric. We have a little bit of fabric up here. Now the nice thing about this is, is this looks a little more comfortable. You actually have room for both of the ears and we have a place for the forelock through here. So a lot of people would prefer this. The other thing is, is notice this one does have a little bit of fabric right down here around the nose area which would make it a lot easier and more comfortable for the horse. Most fly masks are about the same price. There's not a big price difference between fly masks. Maybe five, ten dollars. You can find them at feed stores, tax shops. You can find them all over the internet. There's only a few companies that make them. You want to make sure that they have good Velcro and that they stay. Now you can wash these. You can actually stick these in a washing machine. Or you can do what I do is about every other day I just squirt them with a garden hose, shake them out real good and let them dry. The mistake that people make and it's laziness, it's just pure laziness and it's ridiculous and it causes problems, is people will not take the fly mask off at night. These do restrict vision. If you don't believe me, just take a fly mask and do this. Just see how your vision is restricted. And then imagine that it's nighttime, the sun's out, it's dark, it's midnight. And that's when problems happen, is you're restricting the horse's ability to see. They never were designed to be on 24-7. Every manufacturer that makes a fly mask in, their, in the box that comes in or the package, it says remove in low light conditions. Think about rain, think about snow, these kind of things. People don't take these into consideration when they're talking about a fly mask. All these things do make a difference. Hopefully, you'll take that into consideration. Well, as you can see, we have just a seriously wild horse here. All the horses on the home place are pretty nice horses. Take care of yourselves and take care of your horses.